Overwatch 2 is a game that has been ridiculed with feedback from its community and notorious for its overwhelmingly negative reviews. Now rightfully so, this has led many people to believe that Overwatch 2 is a dying and not thriving game. However, today I'm going to talk about why Overwatch 2 is not actually dying, why now is the best time to come back or start playing again, and discuss the current popularity of Overwatch. Now the first thing I want to talk about is why many people left in the first place. The last video I ever posted on this channel actually defined all the reasons why I quit. On top of this blizzard, it didn't really even seem like they released a new game. Honestly, to old Overwatch players, it just seemed like a balance patch. Overwatch 1.5, it doesn't even feel like a new game. Now on top of me elaborating that Overwatch didn't really feel like a new game, the first few months of Overwatch 2's release felt very clunky. Things were unpolished, there was a lot of glitches within the game. He's doing it again! Oh god! Ah! Ah! There was also a lot of reskins and it felt like a remaster. There were only a few new maps that actually got released with the new Overwatch 2 game, but now there's a lot of new maps to be played. On top of this, matchmaking was a huge problem and one of the biggest reasons why I quit in the first place. And honestly, just the drive to play and rank up with the matchmaking wasn't really fun at all for me. Now, I'm not the only one who felt like this. Another fellow creator named Dittos also experienced the same problem. Now, when it comes to this channel, I've taken a massive break and I'm not exactly sure what's left for me. The passion and love I had for Overwatch died off a long time ago. And, and that, unfortunately, was the last video Ditto's ever posted on the channel. Now, I want to talk about why now is the best time to come back and start playing Overwatch again. Coming back after a few months of not playing the game feels like a fresh and renewed game. There's lots of new heroes within the game brand new maps, different balance changes, and the list goes on. From the same game I was playing almost a year ago, it doesn't feel like the same game at all. It really feels like Blizzard put in some time and effort into the game to actually make it fun and feel refreshed. On top of the game feeling very fresh and new, the game also feels balanced. While yes, in a game where there's constant updates every couple weeks or so, changing the game and changing the meta, I do think that this is a state of Overwatch where I can play any character and I don't feel completely useless. Now that might be me being a little biased because I usually only play Soldier and he's normally usually good, but I've seen lots of different hero diversity in the games that I've been playing. This is probably the biggest reason to come back and start playing Overwatch, is that the matchmaking actually feels like matchmaking now. If you played the game on release, you know all of the problems that matchmaking had. But if you're new to Overwatch, let me just quickly break it down for you. So the usual five wins we have now, you had to get seven wins. And most of the time, once you got seven wins, you would stay the same rank. There was no indication if you were gonna rank up or not, rank down or not. On top of this, the biggest problem is that I would be getting gold players within my masters games. Now I did the calculations one time and I believe it was about 14 to 15 divisions difference of skill in my games. Now with the new matchmaking system, it tells you your win loss ratio within the rank system. So if you, you could be like five and three or five and two or whatever the case may be, kind of gives you an indication if you're gonna rank up or down or not. And on top of this, it also tells you when you're loading in the game, the average skill of the lobby. For example, in my master's games, it'll tell me if the average rank of the lobby is like master two or master four, whatever the case may be, but it's now no longer me getting gold players in my master's games. And with these improvements, it feels like the game quality has definitely taken a turn for the better. Before, sometimes it would feel like the game was lost before you even got to actually play the game and you were just waiting out 15 minutes or 20 minutes to just lose because your team was severely underskilled. On top of this also, the queue times feel very quick as well. Before all of these changes, I would be sitting waiting five to 10 minutes, but now I'm only waiting one to two minutes for a queue. Like it actually just makes me so happy. It doesn't even feel like the same game that I was playing before. To sum everything about the matchmaking, the games actually feel balanced. It's short queue times. I feel like my play actually matters in the game. And overall, the game quality just feels much better. I also wanted to cover the popularity and the future of Overwatch in this video. So the first thing I want to mention is that Overwatch 2 is a free to play game. What this does for the community is it allows it to be more easily accessible to everybody throughout the world. There's a low barrier to entry. 
allows people to actually have community involvement, and there isn't a price blocking the ability to play the game. On top of this, all the purchases in the game are completely optional and cosmetic. With the exception of the battle pass which gives you access to new characters early, but for 90 to 95% of the game's content, having a free to play model makes it way more accessible to more people. Now on top of having this free to play model, the Blizzard CEO, the creators of Overwatch, actually had their CEO recently step down because they were bought by Microsoft. This is very good news for Overwatch because Microsoft is the third biggest publisher in the industry. Now this is also a good thing for the future because it's going to prolong the longevity of Overwatch, constantly updating the game and keeping things fresh. Now I also want to bring something to your guys' attention. Overwatch 2 has had over 24 million players in the past 30 days sign into the game. Now this comes from a website called activeplayer.io, so the site gives purely speculation and can be limited to factors such as console gamers, Steam users, etc. I also want to say that I'm not affiliated, but I'm just going to use it to kind of give you guys a rough estimate of the current player counts. So just to put that into perspective for you guys, Overwatch 2 has had more players sign into the game and play in the last 30 days than Valorant has had. Now I'm not surprised Valorant is an absolutely dog sh game, but when I personally saw these numbers, I was mind blown. I thought Overwatch 2's player base was way lower than it actually was. And it seems over the past year, Overwatch averages about 20 million plus players and 3 million players logging in every single day. So with all that being said, the future of Overwatch 2 is definitely very bright and I'm looking forward to what it brings in 2024. Whether you're new to the game or have played it before and you wanted to take a break or whatever the case may be, now is a perfect time to come back into the game, start learning, start playing it again. As I really do think with all these changes, Overwatch 2 is going to make a huge comeback in 2024. They're constantly taking steps in the right direction by releasing new content such as heroes, maps, you know, updating the game and the balance all the time as well as they're actually addressing the problems that created the big issues that the game had in the first place. On top of this, it being free to play, being it more accessible to different players and different consoles makes it a huge step in the right direction for the game. I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts down below. Do you guys still play Overwatch? Did you quit a long time ago? Have you been playing the whole time? Let me know. I'm kind of curious to see how many people are still around. But I just want to let everyone know I do think that we're going to be having a bright future of Overwatch. Other games are kind of going downhill right now. And if Overwatch makes a comeback, I think that we're in for a great 2024 of gaming and Overwatch. Now that's not to say the game is perfect, but I do genuinely think that they're taking steps in the right direction, and I'm excited to see what Blizzard has in store for us in the new year. I hope you guys enjoyed, my name is Halsey, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.